everyone, welcome back, new video here with Kaylin and we're just jumping on the subway but I figured I would start this vlog here because it's going to be an interiors, kind of autumn refresh video. I'm just about to pop up to H&M home. I saw online that they have really nice stuff but I love seeing things in person so I'm going to pop up there and see if there are some new bits I can style for my new coffee table which I'm going to show you in the rest of this video. I finally got the coffee table for my living room so I want to style it up so I'm going to go shopping first, see what I can find. I'll do a haul when I get back home or else tomorrow morning in this video and then I'll show you the new space and other new additions that I got as well. So first up, page them. Yeah, I think down the windowsill. Window yeah. yeah. They're pretty classic. Nine ninety nine for that size. Well, it's also nine ninety nine. Weird. That makes sense. Um, okay, I'll think about them. Let's like focus on the actual coffee table first. Oh, I like these trays. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Wow. How much is that one? Consider it, yeah. I'll hold on to it. Oh, I have these jewelry things and they're so good. Oh, these are cheap. Oh my god, is that velvet? Oh no. It's broken. Not <laughs> bad. Smells good. I'm wearing runners, don't judge me. I know it's the middle of the day and I should be dressed up, but I have to go to a workout class <laughs> after this. It's right next door to here. Okay, why are you getting over here? <laughs> Even that tray is kind of nice because the mirror. <laughs> In school. I don't want like too much gold though because there's a lot of different golds going on. I don't want to like clap. So more just I like would keep it like maybe cream, cream yeah. yeah. Anything there? Lots of cushion covers, like a selection of colors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not so much into pink anymore. I had my time pink. That was retro one. <laughs> retro flame version. Bye, retro flame version one. This is like new improved. Retro version two. Sure. Oh, this wood could be nice if you did it right. I feel like sometimes they can be done really nicely in apartments. That looks so soft. Wow. Oh, I like that. The troll I got here like two years ago is still lasting really well. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. For Pampas? From Oka. Oh, okay. That could go in the middle. Maybe, yeah. Not terrible for a vase. Very dusty. Mm, see, that's the thing with black. It gets dusty so quick. It doesn't look very dusty, though, you know. Oh, my God, very We need a basket. Well, that's nice. More candles. Well, I put in 
to this one. It'd be nice to have the corner next to the coach. Those baskets are nice. Is there any bigger ones? Oh, there is. More green. That rug looks interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what size these are. Okay, this one is 28 by 55. Oh, there's loads more, wow. What would you use them for? For like jewelry, yeah, that's really nice. Even next to your sink while you're washing your hands, take off your rings and put them in. Is that a jug or a vase? Jug. Need any new mugs? Some bedroom over there, I think. Yeah, you could definitely use them in a sitting room too. Yeah, you mean cream. I mean, you could put it on something cream, maybe. I just don't want, to, like, I want to have black touches, but I don't want too much black. Yeah. You already have a. It is fab. It like makes the room really. That's a nice little tray. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Black. Spoon. Cool. Gold. Oh, that's nice. Cozy. It looks very cozy, yeah. Oh, I actually like that. How much? Oh yeah, but it would cover the couch. And, yeah, it's not a huge couch. Eighty dollars. That's expensive. I feel like you get that more affordable. I don't know. Even though it does look like good quality. Yeah. Maybe take a picture of the skew. Yeah, but your kitchen has black. Not bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. There's just so much black. I know, there's a lot of black in here. Okay, what do you think? Verdict? Of what I have, like in the basket. There's no I point overbuying, yeah, if you don't see stuff. Yeah, I don't like Maybe you should try another store as well. But at least if I, I don't want to hear it, go online, have yeah. a look, and see. And this will help me start off the vision. Yeah. I do need to get like more pampas grass and like fake flowers, like yeah. all kind of colors. Maybe I'll go somewhere in the morning and see me. Yeah. Maybe event. like Century 21. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay, good okay. for now though. I like those two things that we picked up, so yeah. I'll show you them when we get our way. Alright, next day and I have the things from H&M to show you plus some other things. Um, I just ran out this morning up to Century 21 and TJ Maxx, TK Maxx, they call it TJ Maxx here. And I picked up a few other little bits and pieces because I wasn't like fully happy with the stuff in H&M home. Like they were nice, they were, they have a good collection at the moment, um, but just not like everything I was looking for. So. I figured I would run out. I didn't vlog um, Century 21 and 
what you call it, TJ Maxx, because I was kind of in a rush when I was up there, but I'm gonna show you everything that I got now. They actually had some really nice stuff and more that I could have bought, but I wanted to just bring home what I found first, see if it works, and nothing was expensive. Like, everything was really good value. So I'll show you everything first, and then I'll see how they look, and I'll show you the coffee table, and yeah, I'm excited. This bag is basically the same size as me. I was like walking down the street in New York about six or seven streets trying to carry this huge bag. People thought I was crazy, but anyway, okay, so I'll show you that second. First, oh my god, it's like a, a workout. First, I'll show you H&M. Okay. Hopefully you can see everything. That light's not great. Let me see if I can prop this up a bit further. That's a little bit better, I think. Okay, so first of all, h and I ended up getting two of the things that I showed you when I was in the store. So I think you're gonna be that shocked at these two. But the first was this little tray and I just really liked it. I was kind of going in thinking that I would get just like a plain white or kind of a stone color, but I think this will work. Like obviously I'll test it out now on the coffee table. If it doesn't work on the coffee table, I'll try it maybe in the corner on the windowsill and then if it doesn't work there, I'll return it. But it's good just to like bring things home at least and test them out and I don't live too far from the H&M so I can just go back and return. And then this was $29.99. So that's the first thing. And the next thing I got in H&M was the black vase i just really like this everything is black and so reflective so you're going to see all the buildings and the sky in the background but basically i'll try and bring it down so you can actually see it's black okay i can't basically it's just a full plain black like a glassy kind of look and it's quite big like it is pretty sizable so i'll see this i think i'm going to put in the corner on the windowsill like right now the windowsill in the living room I never really did anything to it yet. I was kind of just like waiting off on the small decor. So it's time to start building that out. And I think I mentioned in the first part of this video that I've ordered two more vases, but they're kind of like a white stone color. So I think mixed in with the black, it'll be really nice and really kind of just simple, but, but chic. So that's that. And that ended up being 29.99 as well. So not too bad. Okay, and then what did I end up getting this morning? Okay, so straight away you can see I got some fake greenery. This is the first, oh, they're actually so tall I'm gonna have to cut them. But basically this greenery, I just want to bring in kind of, not to sound very American, but like a fall feel to the apartment, an autumn feel. And I wanted to get just some greenery, like maybe? This could be nice together or even in a different vase the white one when it comes like mixed in with other stuff so they're the first ones i got and they were 12.99 which i'm not gonna lie i thought were kind of expensive like there's not that many but i don't know i saw them and it was easy at the time so i just got them and then i also got these which i have to see if i'm going to be able to make this work so basically so basically give you an idea it's kind of this like what do you call this i actually do not know the name it kind of reminded me of like pampas grass a little bit and i've been meaning to get more pampas grass for the apartment because the last one i got shed everywhere and it was just such a disaster so i saw this and figured that this might be a nice alternative even i love that it's just very um neutral and nude and no color so maybe this in one of the vases or like again mixed in with the other greenery so i figured i'd just buy them and have a play around and you'll see now if i can make it work in the apartment before i show you the rest and this was i think this was 9.99 as well yeah 9.99 so that's still those, those two i just hope they don't shed that's my only thing about them um okay and the next thing i got kaylin was with me and she was like erica you do not need that and i was like hell i don't care i'm getting it <laughs> i've never had one before an autumn wreath i see so many people getting these and i know i don't have a house i don't have like a front door and all that stuff and i don't think anyone on my floor where i live is going to understand if I'm putting a wreath on my apartment door, but I loved it. I really loved it. I see these wreaths all the time, and honestly, sometimes they're just a bit too colorful for my liking and too much going on, 
but I loved how simple this was and I know if my mom's watching she'll love this as well just really really nice so I got that and it wasn't too expensive it was only $12.99 so I'm gonna hang it on Maybe I could hang it on the inside of the door and then at least I could like see it all the time or else I'll just put it on the outside of the door and my neighbours on my floor will think I am very extra but I don't care I liked it and I think it would be a nice addition so I can put that up maybe this weekend and then oh yeah the best things I never ever leave TJ Maxx without getting probably know what I'm gonna say candles how can you go in there and not buy a candle? If you can, you have a lot more sword discipline than I do. So basically, I'm just trying to autumn off this apartment, make it feel seasonal. I know we haven't finished decorating yet, but we just won't talk about that part. <laughs> I think these little elements will put me in the right direction. So I got two different candles. Um, again, very into the black and white. So this is the first one and it says, sand and fog and this is pumpkin spice and i'm just gonna put it out there a lot of these pumpkin candles that you smell they're so disgusting i don't know how people put up with them they're too much like for me anyway i know everyone's different but this was one that i could tolerate it's sweet but not overly sweet so i got that one and i love the way it looks as well and this was 7.99 and then the other one oh like straight away won't that be nice now the little tray oh fab okay my ideas are finally coming to life and then the other one i got was this one called falling leaves and this one smells really nice it's not too strong it's like a nice subtle autumn smell and i think this is one that like i wouldn't get sick of and it's like the three three little things to light so really liked that as well a natural coconut wax blend and that one was 12.99 so a bit more expensive than the other one but like it's a good bit bigger this should last a while so there are the two candles and then last but not least in century 21 which i live really close by to and i actually love like the more i go in there the more i keep telling myself i have to go there more because you get such good deals and they have basically everything you could possibly need and i picked up this little basket and i was a bit in between minds because remember yesterday i think i vlogged anyway but i was saying that i wanted a basket for next to my couch to put my blankets into because obviously we have a cream couch and i'm crazy about getting it dirty obviously so if we're eating or if we have like a drink or coffee or whatever on the couch i just love to put a blanket down just in case <laughs> you never know and plus it's cozy in the winter like it's great to have blankets so this I'm gonna use to put my blankets into and it's pretty sizable like oh what is that oh just the bottom part i don't know if this is supposed to be something else but i'm gonna use it for this anyway like is it supposed to be for a plant maybe anyway oh yeah also the value is 49.99 and i got it for 19.99 which is great value but it's pretty sizable I'll definitely get like right now I have two blankets next to the couch like just thrown there and they've been driving me crazy so I think I will fit the two of them in there and then I'll be able to just like have it neatly next to it and just pull out the blankets when I need it so very happy with that as well and that is everything that I got so far so kind of like a small like small furnishings haul but I love this kind of decor shopping like obviously I love finding the furniture but I do find that kind of stressful making decisions on furniture because obviously it can be expensive and you want to make sure you're doing the right thing but when it comes to like the small decor you can kind of be a bit more creative and playful i guess with it so i'm really happy with all of this all the colors are kind of blending in nicely together so i'm gonna pop the camera away just for like five ten minutes start dispersing the stuff see what i can do and then if some things work i'll come back on and i'll show you how they look sirens as usual um, i'll show you how they look and then i'll also give you a proper look at the new marble coffee table which is basically my current pride and joy it's like i've had a child i love it so much so just give me a minute i'll fix things up and be right back okay that actually took me a lot longer but i've made some progress it's not perfect but let me just show you a few things i've added in Okay, it's four o'clock, so the light mightn't be amazing, but 
this is the coffee table again kind of hard to show on camera it's like a tricky one to pick up but basically it is a black marble block style table something i have been lusting after for a while i ordered this actually like back in i think it was almost july but it was on back order because it was out of stock so i had to wait for it to arrive until september so it arrived while i was home so i came back to it but oh it's so beautiful like even better than i expected let me see the light's probably a bit better this way so as you can see it's like marble all around it's very heavy it was 160 pounds i think tommy said he had to bring it up from downstairs and oh my god i'm glad i wasn't here that day i'm sure he was cursing me behind the scenes but it's a pretty nice size too like it fits in also i have made such a mess over here trying to do the flowers so i'm just not going to show you anything over there just the nice part for now um but anyway it's just such a nice piece and this is how it kind of looks now in front of the couch and i'm going to get something for under the tv here i wasn't going to but seeing this in place we actually have a good bit of room here not a lot like obviously not a lot of room but i think if i get something very skinny just to have under the tv like maybe just plain gold kind of shelving kind of style media unit and then i can put cute decorations on the shelf because otherwise it's going to be really bare and we hung up the tv and also actually i never showed this so obviously hanging up a tv you have the wire issues so basically we just got this thing i had on my old apartment it's from ikea and the mirrors here for now might be moving but what we just did for now like obviously if we get something here we could kind of wire it down and hide it that way but because the mirror is here right now and i just don't have anywhere else to put it right now so it's just staying there but basically we just use this to go across and then it's messy behind because the plug is like here but it's perfect like obviously you can see it now because i'm up close but when you are in here you honestly don't really notice it like if you look very close obviously you can see it but it's a lot better than having a wire kind of coming down here and across and over it was so messy it was driving me crazy so yeah, that is the newest main addition to the apartment. Let me know what you think. I love it. And it was definitely worth the wait. Okay, so then let's talk decoration. So as you can see, I have my Tom Ford book that I had in my last apartment and I really like it. I kind of want to keep it in the apartment here and incorporate it. So I just put it under the tray, but this isn't this isn't exactly how I want to do it. I also must kind of clean off this book. That's the worst about black. Like, I love it. And it's obviously a huge part of the new decor. But it's going to take a lot more cleaning. But anyway, I put this on top. And I've just put these two candles in here for now. This is the new one from TK Maxx. And then I just had this Diptyque one. So they go nice together. And then I need to fix this. So I just found this... Um, vase in the press and i put it here for now just to see what it was like more than anything because i'll either do pampas grass or like mixed in with green i might do a different style vase i'm not sure this is the right shape but just to kind of give you an idea of what i'm thinking and then i might even have the book separate and put the tray down separate i could do a gold vase to bring out the other gold we'll see but for now i'll leave it like this and Again, not ideal. These fake flowers were part of something else I had, so ignore that. <laughs> this will improve. I think I just need to go to a few more shops and see what I can do. And also the other greenery that I bought, I can't cut it. I have to wait till Tommy comes home. Let me show you. This one, like I wanna cut it to put it in, but I cannot get through this goddamn thing. I've tried everything. So I need Tommy to help me with that. But this could also be nice on the table. Like these are like a little bit more, oh, pampas can fluff everywhere um these are i think a little bit more like the vibe so when tommy comes home i'll try and make some sort of an arrangement out of that and then i love how this little corner has turned out so this is the new black vase and i popped these flowers in so let me see if i can the light is coming this way it's gonna be hard to see but kind of gives you an idea and then i just put it on top of my chanel coffee table book and then this is like a spare dip tea candle i had i'll just leave it there for now and i have like a stack of spare candles i always have candles in reserve so i might kind of make some sort of a feature there but i want to keep it as minimalistic as possible that is my goal for this space i don't want to over clutter it don't want to overcrowd it i want to just keep it very minimalistic as i said and then i still have the pictures over here 
I'll leave them there for now anyway. I like them and they look cute with the chair. Then I just popped this candle up here just kind of for somewhere to put it because there was too much going on on the coffee table. So I'll leave that there for now, but I do want to get like a little lamp for this area down the line when I find one that I like, story of my life. And then the basket actually worked out so well. It fits this really well. It like tucks into this corner out of the way. Nothing to, um, maybe I'll pull this out, yeah. Nothing to in your face. So that worked out perfectly too. And this corner I think will come to life a little bit more now that I have the vibe started and I remember I said that I have other vases coming so I'll see what they're like here as well or maybe they'll work on the coffee table I'll see when they get here oh and just before I finish the vlog I need to show you these new pictures I got either to go above the couch area here although I'm thinking they might be a bit too small I think this area kind of needs one big abstract piece but I think I might put them over in the new dining area on the plain wall, you know, next to the mirrors. And I just love them. I picked them up when I was in Italy in this random little shop that I found. I think I got them all for about 120 euro frames and photos all together. And I thankfully, very luckily, <laughs> got them back to New York in one piece from Italy to Ireland and Ireland to New York without any scratches or breaking. So that was good, um, but I just really liked them. Just something kind of personal. I love picking up decor on my travels and it kind of just like brings back a memory of a trip and they have a bit of a story. And this is my favorite one. Very Dolce & Gabbana campaign. And this one's cool too. And then this was Positano. I think like he said the date now, but obviously like years and years ago before it got built up. So that's cool too. And then it's kind of a similar one. So there's a little update. Hopefully you liked seeing all that. It's crazy what the coffee table and the TV on the wall have just done. The place, I just came back from the trip, like when I went back to Ireland for the month, I came back and I was like, wow, the place all of a sudden seems to be kind of coming together. So if you are decorating yourself or if you're kind of like hitting that point where you're getting a little bit discouraged like I was before I left, I just needed to kind of like step away from it for a bit. So I'm just a perfectionist and I'm not someone who just buys like the easy option and buys the first thing I see in a rush. Like I really like to curate my apartment into a way that I just am proud of it. Um, but I definitely feel I was getting a little bit <laughs> stressed and overwhelmed and just thinking, overthinking it too much really before I left. But then when I came back after the trip, I walked in and the place just felt, I don't know, just finally like a home. So very happy with the progress. Obviously still have to get the thing for under the TV. Um, a few more like little small decor pieces, working on the dining area. I have a few options of tables that I saw, but again, just trying to find the perfect one. It's hard and again, it's a rental. So there's loads I've seen that I love, but they're like $3,000 and I just, I can't justify it. It's a rental apartment. I don't know if it's gonna suit the next place. I don't wanna splash out that much. So I'm just trying to find something like within my budget that I love, which is proving kind of good. Um, but I'll keep going and I'll keep you updated on that. I will come back now to regular interior updates. As soon as I have new things or new updates, I'll keep you in touch. But I think that this was a good kind of way back today just to show you some autumn decor and just the new bits that arrived. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is the sixth video of the week. Just one more left tomorrow. It's been a busy week of videos. I Just in case you don't know, I'm doing a seven days, seven video kind of challenge for myself, nobody else. <laughs> I just challenged myself to do it. So yeah, once this is live, we're almost there and I really hope you've been enjoying it. And let me know your thoughts on the coffee table and all the new little decor pieces. So happy with that vase. Like who knew a vase could make you so happy <laughs> this is adult life at its finest but anyway i'm gonna go so have a great weekend and i will see you in the next video bye